fellow tubers, how are you today? Well, today I'm going to go over another passage of the Bible. This time it's going to be uh, from the book of Romans, chapter 8, and it's going to be verses 28 through 39. And I'm going to put on this reader and uh, so you guys can listen. Here we go. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things, if God be for us? Who can be against us? He that spared not his own Son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. A powerful chapter and uh, what Paul is saying is that uh, you know, if you're a believer in Christ and it says here I'm beginning here um, um, if God be for us who can be against us and it's, it speaks about it Jesus that uh, you know Jesus died for us, and um, and he, he rose, and he's sitting at the at right hand of, fa of the Father, and um, so you know the price has been paid, and uh, we need to believe in this. And uh, you know, who could be against us? If God is with us. Who shall separate us from the love of God? Distress, persecution, famine, no, none of this, the sword. So let's be bold. Let's be mighty. Let's be strong. Believe. You know, uh, I talked about David when he killed Goliath. And David was strong, but he was strong in faith. He believed that God would kill Goliath. And David was just the conduit to do that. And we have to believe in these things. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So we, we can have, we have the power. We have God's power. We have the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that's given to us through God. So let's, let's believe in that and let's con, you know, conduct ourselves in that way. Let's not be meek. Let's not be scared and afraid. Let's be strong and bold. There's lots against us. We have, uh, you know, in China, they're killing all the Christians. Uh, Saudi Arabia. I mean, if you're, a Mo if you're not a Muslim, they kill you. Uh, and we're being attacked. We're being attacked each and every day. And we need to be bold and strong and believe in God. You know, this is where we have to do. And uh, 
this is the reason why I have this channel is to uh, convince people that through God we have the power we just have to act upon it and I think this verse this, this chapter in Romans really says that to be strong be mighty it also says here in Matthew um, chapter 7 verse 21 through 23 not everyone who says to me Lord Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven but he who does the will of my father in heaven many say to me in that day Lord Lord we have not prophesied in your name cast out demons in your name and done many wonders in your name and then I will declare to them I never knew you depart from me you who practice lawlessness so we need to be bold we have to be strong we have to declare because when we do pass away I want Jesus to say to me that that he did know me and that he loves me and then to enter the kingdom of heaven so people please be strong that's the message for today thank you and God bless